Hello. Hello. Hi, everyone. Um, We're going on an adventure. Yes, we have a fun adventure for everyone today. It was astoundingly clear that everyone had something to say about the fact that I have never had Taco Bell before. I was probably the loudest. Yeah, Lauren was definitely the loudest, <laughs> but everyone was in up in arms that I haven't had Taco Bell before. If you're confused in last week's episode or one of our past episodes. And it was assumptions. Yeah, in our assumptions episode, we talked about Taco Bell and I let it slip that I've never had it before. <laughs> so now Lauren has forced me. We are going to the Taco Bell. Literally heading there right now. Yeah, we're heading there right now and we're gonna do a little mukbang for you. These houses are fucking gorgeous, oh, Lauren. Oh, right now. We're um, driving through King of Prussia right Yeah, now. we're driving through Lauren's neighborhood and it's really cute, but um, so we're headed to the Taco Bell and we're gonna do a little eating show for you. And what do you, I made Lauren drive because yeah. I don't know what to order. I don't know how to do this. I know. I also don't know where the Taco Bell is. So yeah. that's what's going well, on. So there is usually two Taco Bells, but my the one near me is like literally gonna be five minutes from me. It's not yet open. So oh. we're going back to home. We're going to work Oh, that Bell. one, okay, cool. It, it's a staple. Sweet. Um, what are, what are, like, I, you need to guide me through I the am. menu because... So you're picky. So Anna's pretty picky. I am, but I've gotten better with things. Like, I eat Chipotle and, like, I like, um, Plaza Azteca. Like, we oh, go there all the time. That's good, yeah. And, like, that's, like, legit Mexican. So I feel like I honestly, what are you going to get, the chicken quesadilla you said you like? 100% the chicken quesadilla. Okay. I think I might be a little risque because I feel like people are going to be a little mad if we don't get the crunch wrap supreme we could get the crunch wrap supreme okay i you feel like i'm gonna hate it they have cheese quesadilla too if yeah, you're but like, that's like probably chicken. the opposite of what i i know I'm just i saying. don't like cheese um that's just like you know we'll see is there like rookies. a drink i also hear that there's some specific drink at the taco <laughs> like bell a drink yeah so i mean if you want to go all out like they well i feel like if we're doing okay i feel like if we're doing a taco bell mukbang we have we to like do a, a taco bell things. mukbang yeah um so we'll get baja blast feeling i should make like i maybe should have eaten before because if i hate everything we're gonna be recording and drinking for like the next five hours, I'll drive and then, you to Wendy's then going, <laughs> then <Chick -fil> going, <laughs> then we're going for dinner with our Al Pal. Al Pal. Um, so we'll if I sure if I'm eat. drunk at dinner, it's because <laughs> this Taco Bell mukbang didn't go well. Um, but we're headed to the Taco Bell now, so we'll we'll catch up then. There we go. What would you do? Just zooming in on the Taco Bell sign. <laughs> oh, they're hiring. We could get a part-time job at Taco Bell. If you like it so much, maybe you're gonna want to <laughs> work at Taco Bell. <laughs> we have arrived. <laughs> I'm like low-key nervous <laughs> because. All right. So there's gonna be a huge menu. I'm gonna tell me a second. Me trying to zoom in to say. Okay. Hi, welcome to Taco Bell. How can I help you? Hi, do you mind if we have just one minute, please? Sure, let me know when you're ready. Thank you. Okay, how about this? We're gonna get a Crunchwrap Supreme meal. Okay. With your, with your root beer. Or what okay. is it? They have, they're, they don't have, they're a Pepsi brand, yeah. which I have major beef with. Okay, I think I know what we're doing. Okay, then you, you yeah, order. I'm gonna go. But make Are sure you guys all set? Yes, please. What can I get started for you? So can I please have a number four with okay. a soft shell taco? And um, do you guys have root beer or Dr. Pepper? Yes. Root beer. I have root beer. Can I have that? Okay. And then can I also get a number seven chicken quesadilla? Okay. Also with a soft taco with a diet soda. Diet Pepsi or Diet Mountain Dew? Um, diet Pepsi, please. Okay. And then can I get... Um, what was the last thing? Baja Blast, small Baja Blast. Oh, and then a small Baja Blast, please. A small Baja, the soda or the slushy? The um, soda. Soda, please. Okay. And that'll be everything. Does everything on your screen look for Yes, thank you so Any much. Any mild hot fire Diablo sauces? Mild sauce, please. All right, that's everything. Good, how are you? Thank you. Okay, I can hold something too. Thank you. I'll Here hold the Baja. Can't miss the Baja. Nope. Okay. Good luck on getting the 
root beer because I'd be pissed if that I didn't have no, any soda. I, I told you guys missed this, but I said we should get her another drink because <laughs> she's not gonna like the bar. <laughs> no, I'm probably not going to. <laughs> I'm like really, like it doesn't vibe with me that they're a Pepsi. I think it's really, um, I know, I know. Like, I still got it because I just still am this, craving the Diet Coke, so this right. will be like a medium. I refuse. Like, if at I restaurants know. they're like, oh, is Pepsi okay? I'm like, no, it's not. Um, I usually I'll take something change else. my order. Yeah, like it just it doesn't sit right with me. I hate it. It makes people mad. Um, it's a big difference. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry, we're waiting for one small Baja Blast. Thank you. Whoa. It's like a... Nice little sealed. Nice little burrito. You too. Aha. Uh -huh. well, look at that green. The Baja Blast. Look at that artificial coloring. <laughs> We live. We live. The sugar. Oh my god. Okay. We will catch you guys back at home. Oh. We are, we are back. <laughs> so let's like so set up cold. our. I think for muff. Like technically, I think we're supposed to show the food, but like we don't have that. Um, I know. We're not. Time. We're not. We like, have our Baja Blast and then my root beer. And they're also like gigantic. They're huge. Like Taco Bell gives you a ton of food. I got Diet Pepsi, even should though it's controversial. Do you have vodka? We could use it as a mixer while we record. The Baja Blast? I don't yes. know this. Um, I probably do, yeah. Mm -hmm. Root beer's good. Okay. This is it, but does the job. Because it's Pepsi. You should have gotten a root beer. It sounds, or it smells so good. It's okay, you. All right. I'll unveil what we got. I don't even know what is which. So this is one of the best parts about Taco Bell. Um, their cute little packets have little sayings on them. Oh. So go ahead and like see them. They're really cute. You so get me. I like blank. Can I like blank. blank. That moment when it's a when secret. You, get, like, about. you so get me. I like. Got our our girl's card in here. Oh. All right, so we have <laughs> Taco a Bell employees have business cards. <laughs> chicken quesadilla. Oh. The most amazing. Got some two soft shell tacos. This cool. is like Anna's like fallback just in case. Right. And then we have the Crunch Wrap Supreme. And we're trying our oh Taco Bell. Okay. Should I should I try the Baja Blast first? Yes. Okay. So try try your drink. Baja Blast. Oh my god, absolutely not. <laughs> Ew. I told you you weren't gonna like it. Describe it for us. You know what it tastes like? Like a summer camp too sweet Gatorade. Ew. Mm hmm. It's Mountain Dew esque. That's why I hate it. I didn't I know. know it was Mountain Dew. Oh, I thought you knew that. I hate Mountain Dew. Oh, yeah. That's no, why I, I said she was gonna just get that. I'm glad I. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Sorry. All right. All right. So now, take out our stuff. I still can't believe you've never had this. Crunch wrap. Yeah, so crunch wrap is like the classic, obviously. Okay. Do oh, thanks. Uh, okay. That's like one of the classics. So you kind of just, just like. Just dive in. Yeah, you just, just kind of bite it. I'm a little nervous. A little nervy. And you can use I need sauce to get like a good sauce. Bites. I'm gonna do like over here. Yeah. It seems like a good mix. Here we go. Did you get food or is it still all like crust? I think it was mostly crust. It's not terrible though. That's good. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this kind of slaps. Right? What's in there? I don't even know. It looks like ground beef, tomato, lettuce, a sauce. Do you want to bite? Yeah. Try it. Yeah. Try the quesadilla too. Okay. This is like. Oh, this yours is really warm. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Quesadilla is good. Right? Yeah. That's good. That's good too. It tastes like literally. I'm yeah, like, I'm like not mad about this. See, it's so good. This is like, I get why people, because I've seen the trend of people 
making these like homemade. Mm -hmm. it, I feel like it would be really good homemade. Oh yeah. I've tried to master. So Taco Bell quesadillas have this like sauce. They call it their like jalapeno sauce. Mm -hmm. I've tried to make it at home. I cannot master it. Like I've looked up Pinterest and no. stuff. But I'm a little concerned. Because you like it so much. With after I eat this. Oh. Is it going to fuck me up? I don't think it does, but I don't know how sensitive your stomach is. We'll see. We can we'll update everyone later. <laughs> we're recording right after this. So you'll know in our latest episodes. Oh, yeah, good call on getting the other. Mm -hmm. Other <sighs> soda. So what do we want to talk about? Oh, Welcome to our mukbang. I am. Oh, I was waiting to ask you. Mm. Yeah. Just got a Peloton. I did. I want to hear about it. How it's going. Now my roommate Morgan, you guys know Morgan, she bought the like bike and then um, we're splitting the like membership monthly. Oh, got you. Um, and then in the summer, if we have room and we're able to bring the bikes upstairs, I'm going to get my own so we can ride together. Oh, nice. But ob fucking sass. <laughs> it is amazing. I did it like it came last week, but it came like right before I left. I had things to do that weekend, so I like didn't have whatever, couldn't do it. So I started it this past Monday, my mm -hmm. first ride. Immediately after the first ride, I was like, oh yeah, like this is the shit. I'm obsessed with Cody. I'm obsessed with Allie Cody. Love. I only think those really are really the Cody. only two that I've like taken classes with. But it's so fucking good. It's such a good workout. I haven't, I've only done 30 minute spin classes so far. I haven't mm -hmm. done any 45 yet. Cause like, honestly, I'm dead after 30 right now. I need Did like, you guys work. get the weights and everything too? Yeah. So I got like my, me and Morgan both got our own shoes and then I got the two pound weight and she got the three pound weight. So we have both. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's like all set up like real cute. And like, I want to a picture. Yeah. I want to see. I'll show you guys like what it looks like. We have like a front like foyer. I don't, I think that's yeah. what people call it. Um, like a Let little sunroom almost. Yeah. I sent pictures of my mom. But that's where we have it right now because it just like makes the most sense to keep it there. Yeah. But it is amazing. Like I'm so obsessed. You can kind of see. Oh, that is cute. Yeah. So we have like. Well, there you go. Yeah. That's cute. But I'm obsessed. It's so amazing. Um, and they have other classes too, right? Like where you can use just the mat and do like yoga yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Um, I've never tried it, but I remember um, hearing about it. Morgan got the um, bike plus to the screen, like swivels. Oh. Yeah. It's awesome. But I didn't realize it was such like a community, like. When I posted about it, everyone's like, oh my god, follow me. And like, mm -hmm. and like high five people. I don't know. It's just really cool. I'm obsessed with it. I feel like me and Morgan were talking and I was like, are we going to turn into one of those like Peloton freak people who has like Peloton merch? And she was like, oh, 100%. <laughs> she has like a Peloton sticker already on her water bottle. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my god, like I'm so like, do I need to buy a Peloton sweatshirt now? Like, is that what <laughs> needs to happen? I'm obsessed. I swear, people say it's like a cult because of how obsessed everybody gets with it mm-hmm but it is I'm obs I'm I love it I love it so much yeah I my parents have one and so when I lived at home during quarantine that was nice because I was able to yeah. to get it but I didn't live there for that long when they had it like then I moved out so I didn't really get to use it as much but my I've been taking second classes at my gym and my butt has been hurting so bad yes. where I can't do two in a row. So I don't know. I noticed that this week. As soon as I get on the bike, I'm like, oh my god, my fucking ass. Like it hurts so bad. And I literally yeah. have to sit there and like adjust myself for a few minutes to like get like this sounds weird, but like like the sweet spot of like yeah. where I'm like not sore. It takes me a second because like as soon as I sit on it, I was like, I'm like, ow, I need to ask Morgan like if she feels the same way because I haven't really talked to her about it, but I was like, maybe we should get like a cushion or something. I don't know. I know. Because I'm like, I the one class I did do twice in a row because I didn't think I was still going to be like hurting and I mm -hmm. had already signed up and I had to basically ride like 
in third the whole time because it hurt too bad and like no one else was doing that and i felt yeah. like really awkward because i was like not following directions no but that's what i like too and i like how it gives you the numbers of like your cadence and your resistance like yeah. i feel like that was my because it's not like i missed spinning like ever mm -hmm. since the pandemic like I feel like i was spinning a good amount before then and we had like a normal spin studio in maniunk and then like when i wanted to do rhythmic i would come home to like the studio in our hometown mm -hmm. and rhythmic spin by far is my favorite but like the normal spin class i would just force myself to do because it was like convenient in maniunk and i was like whatever just mm -hmm. like a good workout but i feel like i never got a good workout because they'd be like okay do half a turn like let's like get it and i feel like it's just like not enough direction where i feel like i'm the type of person where like if i have to like push myself like myself i'm not gonna do a good workout you know yeah. like, i'm gonna make it easy for myself but at least with this but since they give you the specific numbers i know what range i should be in mm -hmm. and so i know like okay like it should be this difficult and like you know what i mean if that makes sense yeah like they give you so that's how my class is too so my i think i said my gym's a little like bougie so the um uh, bikes all have that um the screen the screen like oh. on their bikes so oh, yeah, you you're expensive see. ass fucking gym. Well, honestly, it's nice though because like I forgot I mean, like, it better be to nice. bring my like Apple Watch, so like I don't know how many calories I'm burning, and it yeah. tells you how many calories you. I burn. like that too because it like hooks up. Yeah, and it connects, and it just like automatically puts it in, and you can see too. Like fucking two episodes ago, I'm selling you guys on the fucking most expensive hair dryer combined, and now no, we're talking about the damn Peloton. Are you gonna eat this? No, I, I'm gonna be honest. This this doesn't. I'm gonna try it. I was gonna give it a bite. This, this doesn't, doesn't do it. This for you. doesn't look appetizing. Me the taco. Uh -uh. Maybe we should got you a crunchy one. I like normally like soft ones though. Um, you can try it for them. Yeah, I'll try it for you guys. It's just like. But I like, so it gives you, if you guys want to follow me, my handle is at, or Anna Marie underscore W, my same as my Instagram. But with the workouts, like this one, so it shows you like you, like your stats for the workout, but at the bottom, it shows you like all your mm -hmm. things and like what That's zone fun. you were in for most of the workout. That's I'm just cool. obsessed because I feel like it's just like a good way to track. Like, what's going on? Yeah. I don't know. I'm so obsessed. Love that. I can't say enough good things about the Peloton. And it was one of those things where, like, I wanted to hate it. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. But, like, in the past, I wanted to hate on it because I'm just, like, it's, like, You didn't want to be, like, basic. Yeah. But it's, like, I feel like it's, like, all those, like, cult, like, bandwagon things you, like, want to hate. But then, like, it just made it They're popular for a reason. If it weren't for the pandemic and like, you know, really needing to embrace the whole um, working out at home thing and like. It would be different. It'd be, I probably would have never even thought to get one. But now that we have one, I just like, I don't see being able to go back. Well, I remember like talk about coming back from the dead. Like when Peloton first was released, they had that commercial where the husband surprises his wife with the, the peloton under the christmas tree and mm -hmm. it's like so it was when it first came out mm -hmm. if i show you the commercial you'll probably remember it wait is wife, it where like, she gets mad no she's oh. like happy like yeah. so the whole point was like i don't know it showed like maybe like what the wife was like doing and like maybe her being like a super like great house mom mm -hmm. or housewife i forget but mm -hmm. she came downstairs and the husband's like look what i got you for christmas mm -hmm. everybody was like so offended that they would have like the white like the husband giving the wife an, a bike equipment oh, I, I because remember it was that. like, yeah. you know, it's like, you, what are you trying to say? She yeah. needs to lose weight, whatever. And now, uh -huh. that is what people are begging their husbands to mm -hmm. get them for Christmas. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, you know, they weren't wrong. They were just like, not yet, like, Peloton. Yeah. Like, no. And, I was, and the, that's the same thing with the Dyson. I remember when that Dyson Air Wrap came out years ago. And mm -hmm. I remember there was one YouTuber... Who was like partnering with them when it Shut came the out? Shut the up. No. Oh. Um. I remember they did. Forgot her name, but she like did a video on it, and I was like, "This is so fucking stupid." Yeah. Like it looks like it's hard to use, which I granted there's a learning curve. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I would never spend that much money. Here I am, what three or four years later. Yeah. 
Yeah, we talked about that. My Valentine's Day gift to myself. Assumptions, right? Mm. Or no, obsessions. Was that your obsession? Yeah, that was in my obsession. Mm. So, yeah. Um, um, also news. I feel like I'll bring this up because I'm sure, one, I kind of want people's advice for who also maybe went through it, but I'm going on Accutane. Mm. Yeah, so what's going um, on with that? So I start Accutane at the beginning of April and I'm super excited. So basically, I have really bad like hormonal cystic acne on my chin. Um, you can kind of see, I mean, I obviously have makeup on right now, but um, I like never had a pimple a day in my life until I turned 21. And I just started getting these like cystic acne on my chin and it's only on my chin and it's like really painful and I've done everything. I like, when I first went to the dermatologist, they were like, you know, we really want to do Accutane because like, it's not all over your face. Like you don't have like a severe. No, like you don't get bad acne. It's just like one spot. Yeah. And like that literally from the here up, I'm like happy with my skin. Yeah. And so we did like the antibiotic, the topical tr tr uh, cream, spirolactane, like proactive, different, everything under the sun. And it finally just got like this, this past year has been awful. Like I got a really bad breakout of it last March and I've literally haven't had like this breakout has been with me for literally a year now. Like it, if it, if this side clears up, it pops up on this side. Like I haven't not had a breakout in my chin in literally a Which year. Which you would think it wouldn't because like for that past year you were makeup so much less. Like yeah. you did better with your skin because like mm -hmm. we weren't going anywhere. Yeah. And it just like was way worse. Um, so it, I was just like beyond frustrated. So I went to the dermatologist this week and she was just like, honestly, you exhausted all your options. Like I think Accutane is like the right way to go. And she was saying how she had the same issue, went on Accutane. It was great, blah, blah, blah. So I had to, I had to take like a pregnancy test when I was there because you need two failed or no, two passing two negative pregnancy mm -hmm. tests in order to start because there's like severe birth defects that can happen if you're on Accutane. So I Wait, have, have to like sign a waiver or something. Oh yeah. I had to sign all of these, like it's called I pledge had to say all this stuff. Um, but basically, so I took my, took the first pregnancy test, you know, like however many days ago. And so for this month, I'm just on an antibiotic to hopefully clear it up. And then in April I take a pregnancy test like bl getting blood oh, drawn like a legit like test. i have to go to quest and get my blood drawn for oh it God. and then um after they get it the results back then i can start taking so i'll take a one pill a day for two months and then two pills a day for the next four so i'll be on it for six months so it'll be april through september um it's not too bad six months no it's not i'm excited but like also nervous because obviously it's like a super harsh drug and like i've heard yeah. i feel like you just hear like horror stories about it i feel like it does it is one of those though that it affects everyone differently mm -hmm. like some people i know it gets really worse before it gets better some people it just got dry and then it gets yeah better. so that was the other thing is i was like I know it gets worse before it gets better, but I was like, I don't have acne like all over my face. So am I going to, is my entire face going to like purge or what? And she was like, no, it's just going to be like, your chin's going to get gotcha. worse before it gets better. It's not going to be your whole face. I was like, okay, good. Just because. And it honestly masks. Yeah. You can just cover it up. I'm just like <laughs> hoping I don't go back to work before, <laughs> or at least if we do go back, it's like after the worst of it is over. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But so yeah, so I start Accutane in, in a month. So if anyone has been on Accutane, has any tips or whatever, yeah. please leave them in the comments or DM me or let me know what you think. And obviously you guys will continue to see my face. So <laughs> if I'm <laughs> if well, I look disgusting, update. that's why. You're not gonna look disgusting. It'll be fine. Mm -hmm. My sister-in-law was in it, Brie. Oh really? Mm -hmm. She went on it. Her skin is questions. great. That's nice. Yeah, and she has great skin. Hers, um, I remember she just got really, she did it during the summer and mm -hmm. that was hard, which is kind of what you're doing. So you should yeah. ask her. So she always had like Vaseline near her yeah. or like um, something for her face because her specifically was dryness. Like she would get that all the time from it. So yeah, the doctor was saying how like her, you get, her scalp, like her scalp got dry. Yeah. Like, she was saying how like my skin will get really dry, but she was like, honestly, so I have like, I'm pretty oily, at least like in my T-zone. Um, so it might affect you So less. she was like, she's like, I'm, you're still going to get dry. She's like, it may not be as bad yeah. as some other people, but she like already, like you can't, 
use any like literally I can't put anything on my face while I'm on it like I can't use like acne ointment like nothing oh. it's just like a she told me to use the CeraVe like hydrating cleanser which I got and I'm just like starting to use that and then um you can wear makeup though right yeah you can wear oh, makeup right. you can't put any like any other skincare other than a cleanser and a moisturizer wow and um so I have the CeraVe like hydrating cleanser and then it's like an, it's a new brand. Um, but I keep, I see people talk about it all the time. Um, it's the lay, lay, um, lay pousse or something. Hold on. What? It's, oh, that sounded weird. I just realized <laughs> that. Um, no, hold on. Oh, La Roche Posse. Um, I've never heard of that, but it's very oh, it's fancy. this like moisturizer. Apparently, I've heard a lot about it. Apparently, mm -hmm. it's like amazing. And she told me she was like, "Get this moisturizer; it's gonna be your best friend." So I got that and the cleanser yesterday. It's so good. Oh, like, good oh my god, it's amazing. Like, it's so good. I always like a good moisturizer. Maybe I already use the Cerave hydrating, but um, yeah, I was using. Before that, I was using different, and then that stopped working. So then I started, you do, went on proactive like two or three months ago, and it really did nothing. So yeah, my I used to have really bad skin like in college. My skin was bad, like when yours was good. Yeah, like I would get breakouts everywhere, and it was one of those like I I'm not um under the skin like I wouldn't get those mine would always you can come see mine out they're like there's two huge ones coming in right now like I would only maybe once a month like around like my period I would get an under the skin yeah maybe so my like I never really like went to a dermatologist or mm -hmm. anything because it wasn't like that bad I was like okay I just like have bad skin but then finally I started going and then they wanted to put me on Accutane and I was like I like am literally you know I was I had a job. I was like, I, yeah. I don't want to do that. I'm facing people like, and I don't think I need, especially since yeah. like your dermatologist, that was like their last resort. Yeah. I was like, it should be my last resort. Yeah. And then finally I went on something and it got better. I've been off for a while. So I don't know if you can tell. It's not like, no, I think your skin looks fine. Well, I think it's like not the best right now, but I'm going back just okay. to, I, I, mine's more like topical. Like I need something yeah. more topical and, um, like my, my chest like kind of gets okay. it sometimes so like I just need something to like wash maybe and well know. that was the other thing she was like a lot of time people who have like hormonal like cystic acne like you have she was like do you get it anywhere else I'm like literally I only get knock on wood now I'm gonna fucking get it on my back or some shit. <laughs> I literally only ever get it on my chin I and I was so like bizarre. it's so frustrating and it's like so painful like there's I days I work up wake up where I'm just like I don't want to move my mouth because it because it's like deep like I can feel like on my bone I feel like almost see like that's like the worst part like it doesn't even look bad because you can cover it with makeup but like the feeling it just fucking hurts and it takes like since it's so deep it takes forever to like come to a head for it to like go away <laughs> like I have them like once com one comes I'll have it for like three weeks like it takes forever Insane. it's so fucking annoying and I'm like 27 now I'm like I'm over dealing with the whole yeah acne bullshit you know? know like like when does it go I, um, I honestly almost wish I would have like had this issue in high school when it was like, like a normal time it. everyone was having acne issues yeah. like I wish it just would have happened then now I'm a full fledged adult with a fucking 401k dealing um, with acne. I hate when they call it adult acne I'm like yeah no, stop <laughs> I'll never forget <laughs> though you feel awful I was on um me and my best friends from college were on our way to Vegas to celebrate my one friend's 21st birthday. And literally we caught it our, my triple pimple. I got it right here. And it was like a cystic, not super, super deep, but like a cystic one. And it hurt so bad. And it was just red and inflamed. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, I don't deal with this shit. And my friend, Caitlin, she... um was like oh she's like oh I'll like pop she's like one of those people who like loves popping yeah. pimples she's like i'll pop it for you so i like was laying in the bed like under the light and she's just like squeezing oh. the shit out of it and she's like she you could there was three heads literally three heads you could see what and she was like what the fuck i'm like what is going on in all the pictures i just have and like i didn't know how to i barely had to do make knew how to do makeup i didn't know how to cover it up so it was just this fucking thing i had on my chin the entire time and so in all the pictures from vegas i'm like editing like <laughs> zoom, like whatever blurring yeah it. blur it out <laughs> um oh god that was the first time i ever got one and then it, it like finally went away and then they slowly started coming after that until it just like you know is Here what it is are. today yeah so yeah we'll keep us updated mm -hmm. we'll we'll want to know about your journey i'll let you guys know bud 
Okay, I think I'm done. So, rating Taco Bell. Um, I feel like it, the Crunchwrap Supreme was really good. Your quesadilla was really good. Not into the tacos. Hated the Baja Blast. Mm -hmm. Um, not a fan that they're a Pepsi a Pepsi company, I but. I feel like it's one of those things where, like, it is good, I have to say. I'd probably give it, like, a like a 7 or an 8 out of 10. Nice! It's but high. it's one of those things where, like, I'd have to be in the mood for it. Well, so that's what it is. Like, I usually, this was my, like, drunk snack, like, after oh, okay. the bar. I always wanted it to... Is Taco Bell open that late? It used to be. I Now that the pandemic, like, I think that they changed their hours. I don't think it's 24 hours anymore, but... 24? They used to be. Oh, my hours. God! They have breakfast there. <laughs> what? I know. I don't know. But oh it's my like god! Not anymore. At least ours is. I want to say it closes at like eleven, so you can't really like go after the bars anymore. But huh. um, it's either that or I'm craving a quesadilla. So okay. it's like one of the two. Mm -hmm. Like I have to get in the mood. Like I don't think because it's kind of like feels a little unhealthy. It's yeah. not. It's just a taco. Like yeah. I mean, it's you know, the same thing as like McDonald's or Wendy's. But right. um, I wouldn't pick this okay but it's my favorite I specifically it. the quesadilla yeah i feel like it's one of those things like like when how like sometimes i'm just like oh i really want chipotle yeah like i feel like It'd there be, may like, be a time like i'm like oh i could go for like a taco bell I know. but like like chick-fil-a i could eat all the time yeah this i couldn't but it, it is i will have to say like i i get where people if Mexican is something you like like love mm -hmm. and ride for I can see where it would be like really good And honestly, I didn't know if you were even gonna like it at all. So I'm yeah, pleasantly honestly, surprised. I'm pleasantly surprised too. We, we were talking about backup meals for her I, literally, she, I was like should we stop at Chick-fil-a like just in case <laughs> and she liked it, so we No, no, it wasn't I'm really surprised. I feel like I honestly just feel like this would be like really good homemade Yeah, I bet you could make you know it what homemade. I mean? Yeah, actually Jacqueline Hill Put, did a video of her making like a homemade crunch wrap supreme and it yeah. looked phenomenal oh yeah and people make them like bougie and gourmet. yeah like you yeah could, you could really make like, it i feel like it. like it was it was good but i feel like if you made it homemade it would be like holy shit yeah you know what i mean yeah well good well thank you for coming to the smoke bang um adventure catch us every monday on girl vibes only podcast mm -hmm. this is just a glimpse of yeah, what this we're is like just a little little extra. every monday morning mm-hmm all right, um, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.